Okay, today I'm going to show you how to map Subaru CVT into the Luffy XF. So I have a Luffy XF here, and as you see, it goes on, and I have my CVT temperature saying about 31 degrees, 32 degrees right now. It's quite close and relevant to the water temperature. So if you have these values, means it is right. So how do you do this? There are three buttons behind, and it's like up, down, and center. So the center button brings you into the setup menu, and all you want to do is go down to your user data setup. And these are custom maps up to nine slots that you can set. And as you can see, I have my Subaru CVT temperature here. It's already here, all right? But let me show it to you with another slot that's empty and has not been assigned yet. So use any slot, file location, scroll here, click in, you will see this file list. And this is a file list of preset settings inside your Luffy XF and this is all accessible by USB when you plug into your computer. So let's say if you don't even have the map, you can just copy it from someone else. So I go down into the user PID directory, it says directory there. And you can see a whole brand of cars over here. I drop down to Subaru and these are the additional mappings of data that I could get for this car. But do note that there is AT Oil 1, 2 and 3. So that means different Subarus may have a different mapping and we have to test them one by one depending on your car model. So let's go with number one first and see how it goes. So when I click here, it says transmission oil temperature. Yes, I select that. And then I hold the, the middle button for going back. And then let's test. And when we test, it says timeout. It means we're not getting data out of this. Let's try this again. I long press to go back. I go up. And I already know this, but for my car is AT3. AT oil temperature 3. And I go back again by long pressing the middle button. I request test. I'm sure. I wait and I get a response. The result is 35. And this is what we are expecting. So if AT3 doesn't work, if AT1 doesn't work, try AT2. And if AT2 doesn't have anything, I'm sorry, but um, there is no mapping for your specific car. Then data name, you can leave it at CVT temperature. You can set your alarm value. And this I usually put at about 110 because 115 is a bit too high for the CVT that we're using on the WRX. And the unit type, I set it as Celsius. Everything you can just leave it. Everything can just leave it. These are all set by default. The equation data for C is 50. Just leave it there. Now, let's go back. And remember, to go back is to long press the middle button. Long press the middle button, long press the middle button. Now, how do we set it up on the main screen? Well, go into the menu, the first button, head down to the second one, which is display setup item setup and I could just scroll through what I want. So CVT temperature is here. I can scroll like a few different things, user four, user five. So those custom mappings are all under this user uh, and there's like user nine, which I just added, right? So it's, it's over here. But you will notice that there's a default CVT temperature, CVT FT here that's dashed and it's empty. That's the default one. It doesn't work for Subaru. Remember, just map it out and it's over here. Long press again to exit. And there, just set up your, your Luffy as, as you like it. So hope this helps. Uh, it could apply for other cars and other car models as well. Thank you.